Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be working on my CB650R again. Today I want to powder coat these things. They're the footrest on each side of the bike. This is how they look on the from factory. And uh, yeah, I just got to take this side off yet and take this one off. Uh, this whole uh, shifter assembly is connected to this piece, so I'm gonna have to take that off as well. Uh, one thing I did think about is all this hardware is gonna stay silver, so I'm not quite sure how that'll look. Might have to try to get black hardware, but uh, also I do not have access to a sandblaster right now, so I'm not quite sure if these are just straight pure aluminum or if they have a coat on them, but I'm just gonna clean them up as best as I can and powder coat them that way. If it does work out, I'll just sandblast them again and or just sandblast them, all the old powder coat off. But yeah, we're gonna see if it works. Gonna start off by taking these things off and uh, then go on to try to take that thing apart. Uh, right now I'm heating up the shop or the garage and heating up my oven. Now you're holding one piece of just random metal just to test it out, make sure everything still works. But uh, yeah, hopefully this works out great. So I got this thing apart and uh, yeah, I hope I'm gonna remember where each of these springs go. It shouldn't be too hard. Hope I didn't wreck anything. But uh, yeah, right now I gotta take this apart yet. Oh, sorry. Gotta take this stuff apart right here because uh, I don't want those springs coated. And I do not have any tape or anything, so I'm just gonna have to sand this off after I'm done because uh, yeah, I probably don't want powder on that. So I got everything disassembled now. Um, well, everything except the rollers on the end of these pegs. Um, I don't think I'm gonna disassemble them. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to sandblast most of this anyways, but one thing I have seen and did notice right now, on this peg right here, this piece is actually cracked or broken. I don't know when that happened. Yeah, so now this thing actually doesn't roll, so I kinda need to get that fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna clean them up. I got, I don't know what the right stuff is, but I got isopropyl alcohol here somewhere. Um, yeah, somewhere in here I have isopropyl alcohol. Just gotta clean it up and uh, preheat it or yeah, warm it up to 450 and then spray it, I guess. I'm kind of doubtful that it's gonna work, but uh, Fuck it, let's try. So I've made up my mind. I'm gonna coat up, coat these and uh, sandblast them anyways after. So I know it's not gonna turn out well, but I got nothing better to do today. So I'm gonna powder coat these and I couldn't really get them that clean. So I'm gonna sandblast them anyways. And that looks like there might be like a coat of something else on here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna coat them. Just make them nice and black, and uh, yeah, probably around next week, I'll probably just re-powder coat them. And sorry if I'm not showing my work, like what I'm doing, I don't have my tripod uh, camera mount with me today, so I can't really set up the camera in many places, so yeah, I'm gonna be powder coating that and uh, see how it turns out. All right, I've got all this stuff hung up on this rack. I'm gonna put it in the oven and preheat it. And uh, yeah, then take it out, let it cool off, and then powder coat it, and throw it back in the oven for about 25 minutes total. Yeah, now I gotta wait till that warms up and then coat it 
I'm gonna wait until it cures, and then wait until it cools off again to put it back on the bike. It's gonna be a bit later than I hoped for, but that's okay. I've got all the pieces out now. Um, I'm not sure if I had them in there long enough. I'm kind of in a hurry tonight. I know you're not supposed to do that, but yeah, I'm not quite sure if I heat them up enough, but I'm gonna hope it's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit. And yeah, powder coat them, put them in the, put them in the oven. This was a piece I've, I did before I kind of think I put too much powder on it, but uh, as you can see, it's like uh, very rough. Now this is I didn't sandblast this, uh, this piece. I only uh, buffed it with like a wire wheel. But yeah, I think I put too much powder on it or something. Didn't really turn out well. Hopefully that works better. I think this stuff has been. Cool off enough now, so I'm gonna try to cool it. I'm not quite sure if it would work if I just put the ground on this. I think I'm actually gonna try it. See if that works. I think I coated them all pretty well. Uh, one thing I did notice for some of the corners, it didn't really want to go in there. But uh, I think it's probably because I didn't ground it right and I had quite a few pieces on here. And uh, yeah, I could hear it, the electricity just sparking, so I'm sure that's not very good. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Put it in the oven, see how it looks. I'm gonna, I'm 100% gonna be sandblasting these anyways. So yeah, uh, that's way I can learn a little bit more of how, how I should do it. So, uh, I already put it down to 400 and that's actually not too bad. When I looked the last time, it wasn't looking that great. And uh, yeah, it's actually turned out pretty good so far. Of course, I can see already on some of them, it's not covered completely, but it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna let it cure now for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised that it turned out that good. Yeah, we'll wait until it's off and uh, Next time I think I'll just do less pieces at a time, not have as many pieces on the rack at a time. Yeah, I'll let you know when I take it out so you can see how it turned out. But keep in mind, I didn't really clean it right. I did sandblast it 
and there was still like some pretty dirty spots on the there were some pretty dirty spots on the on the pieces and uh, I didn't get clean all of it. I did clean it with alcohol, so hopefully that helped. But uh, yeah, I didn't really clean it all, and I kind of think there was some kind of coating on it, or like be from before, from factory. But uh, yeah, definitely always sandblast your items and clean them really well. But yeah, it's not too bad actually. I'm gonna take out my uh, pieces now. See how it worked out. Not expecting a whole lot, but hey, it would be nice if it was pretty good. Woo! It was actually not too bad. That's way better than I expected. Yeah, there's some pieces like that have a little bit like it's not covered, but then again, it doesn't really matter because a lot of it is like like this. It's facing to the back. Nobody's ever gonna see that. And uh, yeah, there's places like that that the corners that didn't really get it, but it kind of flowed into there. So that's kind of cool. Hmm, that's actually nice. I'm gonna let it cool down. Um, yeah, I. I still think I'm gonna sandblast it just because I want to practice making things perfect. So yeah, it's actually it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I didn't even really, I didn't even really preheat it like to the correct temperature. So could be even better. I'm gonna try to make it even better though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be putting them on the bike anyways today. It's gonna be a waste of time. Uh, but I will make a video of when I uh, do the whole sandblasting and everything. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video then. I don't know if it's going to be a long one or a short one. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time.